Hi friends, it's Donna with Past and Pages. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys are staying well. So today I am back with uh, two more favorite ways to get a grungy look. This is number eight and number nine. So number eight would be Distress Sprays. So this is Distress Spray Stain. This is Distress Oxide Spray. Looks like most of what I have is Distress Oxide Sprays. Um, I, this is a new one. This broke in China, the blue, but I am loving it so much. So some of the things you can do to use those in grunging up your projects is you can use them just as sprays or drops just right on the page. You can use it on fabric to add staining. You can use it on papers to add staining. That's some of the ways I use it. Um, I use it when I make um, my grungy papers. I do have videos on how to make how I make those, and I'll put those in the description box below. Um, I use them a lot for that. I have used them to grunge up coffee dyed file folders to make journals. So you can see this is grunged up and this is back here really grungy and this you can use them to grunge up paper bags for paper bag journals let me call it on something and then i also use it on like coffee dyed paper some of that blue is here just to help give you know add to the grungy look it definitely is one of my favorites so number nine would be acrylic or craft paints it, you know whatever you would prefer to use uh, i love the craft paint so much so some of the things that i have used craft paint for for grungy look is um, I used to do my covers like this I haven't done it in a while but I really like this technique for it's a kind of a wood look so I use burnt umber on my book cover and then I add glue and then I add a nutmeg brown and that gives it this crackle kind of a wood finish it's very grungy friendly so I like using that I like to water down my acrylic paints and add splashes on my papers you can water them down and dye paper with acrylic paint that's what this is I like to dye fabrics with acrylic paint. I will put that description, I will put that link to the video um, for paint dyeing fabric by Susan Taylor Brown. I'll put that in the description box below because that was very uh, cool. Her video is really cool. So I call this grungy even though it's not your typical browns and stuff because it's grungy with paint. You can also go earth tone. There's just lots and lots of things you can do with fabrics. And I like to do cheesecloth as well um, with it. And I do black. I'm working on getting some packs in the shop. Um, so another thing that I have done with the chalk paint and plaster you guys may remember is I just um, I use a glove and I just stick my finger in it and I just just uh, smudge it on like that and add grunge to things that came from Bloomstitch Rita uh, she also mentioned putting uh, drops of black acrylic paint in a spray bottle and 
adding water to it and spraying. I use lots of black splatters on my grungy um, craft paper that I make. So that is some of what I do with my paint. Also, this was something that I used more paint in and I feel like it's really grungy. Um, this was something that I saw um, when in a bit of bird song, she made a little art journal. She has a series. I haven't finished mine, but she showed dipping the edges in paint and she used gold. I used an antique copper and I'm not finished with it. I've got more to do on the cover and I've got more to do on the inside, but this is a start and it's definitely grungy. I love using paint to grunge up things. Um, I've also shown these recently. I'll put a link to her series in the description box below. Anything that I talk about from another creator, I will put their link in the description box below. So also, I got to making these. Um, and a lady on Instagram, and I will put the link to her in the description box below she started me on this i saw her doing it and loved it and then i just moved on and kind of made it mine and started doing these and i'm sure i'm not the first person that's ever done it but i just really like it and this to me with the um the copper and the turquoise color it just makes it look similar to that um patina or whatever that copper gets and so that's pretty grungy there uh, there's another lady that has a cool technique that I would like to try her her YouTube name is Willow Birch and Clover and I'll put a link to in the description to her video um, she uses the Waverly chalk paint to really give a great um, finish to a journal cover it it looks really nice like I said I haven't tried it but I did buy that paint to try it um, she uh, I won't go into all that she does I'll let you watch the video if you're interested but uh, it just it really is a grungy aged look it looks super cool so some of my favorite colors are the metallics. I love the antique gold, the antique copper, the silver. Um, I love the color shift paint from folk art. And I will tell you guys, um, you know, I'm number eight, number nine, I'm allergic to ingredients in these products and I'm not supposed to really be using them, but Oh my gosh, how do you not use them? They they give you so much um, cool techniques. And um, there are some paints out there that don't have these uh, ingredients that cause my allergies. But, um, you know, I definitely need to invest in those because I don't think I'm going to be able to not use paint. So this is one of my favorites. It's Apple Barrel, just the 50 cent at Walmart. I think it's still 50 cent. Uh, but the Mountain Blue, I love that. I love the Mount Apple Barrel pavement really well. And uh, I think I already mentioned the Color Shift paint. So I'm trying to think. Oh, yes. Um, made by Martha here on YouTube was making these tall journals. And I just, I'm crazy over these right now. I'm in the middle of making another one. I just love these and she used um, a makeup sponge and black paint to do edging around the outside I love how that turned out she also used um, I guess she did this decoupage with book pages that's what I did and then she mixed some black and brown paint and applied it with a baby wipe to give an aged look. And I think it grunges it up really nice too. I love that. I'll put her link uh, to that video in the description box below. So, 
I think that's that's it that's all I have for now um, but those two products the distress uh, oxide and spray stain and then the the paint there it just goes such a long way and the paint you can get uh, very inexpensively usually you can get started with that so definitely one of my all-time favorites is the paint even though I'm allergic to some of it um, so I appreciate you guys so much please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I really hope you guys are doing well I'm working on getting some things in the shop hopefully tomorrow there'll be some things in there and um, anyway I will talk to you soon bye-bye